Reva Sevander, was a human female force sensitive who served as a member of the Inquisitorius under the title of Third Sister during the early reign of the Galactic Empire and briefly held the position of Grand Inquisitor. Prior to the rise of Emperor Palpatine, Sevander held the rank of Jedi Initiate during her time in the Jedi Order. Ambitious and reckless, the Third Sister quickly rose through the ranks of the Inquisitorius despite being ostracized and distrusted by the other Inquisitors. Though she willingly served the Empire, and harried fugitive Jedi and other Force sensitives, Sevander was driven by an ulterior motive. Haunted by the trauma from her past, the Third Sister sought to exact revenge on the Dark Lord of the Sith Darth Vader for his slaughter of the Jedi during Order 66, which had taken away the only family she had ever known. Sevander was only a Jedi youngling at the time of the Great Jedi Purge at the end of the Clone Wars. She and her fellow initiates were in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant at the time it was attacked by the Sith Lord Darth Vader and his 501st Legion. She watched as her friends were slain, and played dead amidst the bodies. Years later, she resurfaced and joined the Inquisitorius of the Galactic Empire, both of which had the Dark Lord counted among its leaders. Because she knew that Vader had been the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker before joining the Sith, Sevander, christened as Third Sister, became obsessed with locating his former Jedi Master, the fugitive Obi-Wan Kenobi, as a means of exacting revenge by entering the Dark Lord's good graces and assassinating him whilst he was fixated on Kenobi. To lure her quarry out of hiding, the Third Sister arranged the kidnapping of Princess Leia Organa, the daughter of Senator Bail Organa, who she believed would turn to his old ally for help. Though she came close to capturing Kenobi when he rescued Organa on Deyu, the third sister was prevented from doing so by the intervention of the Grand Inquisitor, who had enough of her rashness. The third sister unexpectedly turned on the Grand Inquisitor and left him for dead, but lost the Jedi Master and the Princess when they fled the planet. Having been notified of his old mentor's resurgence, Vader offered the Third Sister the opportunity to prove herself worthy of assuming the position of Grand Inquisitor at his side if she found the Jedi Master. Kenobi was tracked to Mapuzo, where the Third Sister discovered that he had help from a Jedi ferrying network known as the Hidden Path. There she took Organa hostage once again to root both Kenobi and his new allies out of hiding. With the princess in captivity in the fortress Inquisitorius on Noor, the Third Sister laid another trap for the Jedi Master when he and Path member Tala Durith infiltrated the base to rescue the young girl. The Third Sister planted a tracking device on Organa's droid, L0LA59, and allowed Kenobi and Durith to escape with Organa so that she could uncover the path. Impressed with her, Vader awarded the Third Sister the rank of Grand Inquisitor, and had her oversee the attack on the path's headquarters on Jabim. Their third sister confronted Kenobi, who realized what her true intentions were. The Jedi Master convinced her that they could defeat the Emperor's fist together, giving her the chance to slay him with a seeming distraction provided by his and the path's escape. The third sister made an attempt on the Dark Lord's life but was outmatched and left for dead by him and the much-alive Grand Inquisitor. While lying in the dirt, Sevander found a transmitter that belonged to Kenobi which played a message from Bail Organa detailing a boy under the protection of Owen Lars who, along with Leia, was in danger of being discovered. Using information from that message, no longer an Inquisitor, a vengeance-hungry Sevander traveled to Tatooine to kill Luke Skywalker, one of the offspring of the unaware Vader who had been under Kenobi's watch. As she prepared to kill him, however, she realized that she would become like the Dark Lord, and decided to return the boy to his guardians. Sevander was again met by Kenobi, and at his advice she looked to let go of her past and move on with her life, leaving her ultimate fate a mystery.